Wow, that was uh, something, that uh, fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so it sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh, it doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? You let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water. He stepped between rows. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. Well, um, if you don't need it, don't buy it. <laughs> I always say not. See, Lodge, he's fine. Thought it best to vanish when Thor's idiot sons showed up. Those men, what do you know of them? First, they're not men, they're gods. Well, demigods. Anyway, let's see. Thor's their dad, different moms, sordid story, that one. Baldur's their uncle, Odin, dear old grandpa. Oh, and a sister named... Weapons. How do they fight? Oh, of course. Magni's strong. Really strong. Carries a huge sword hardened by cyclonic thunder. And Modi... Ugh, I'd sooner lick a rat than shake that dung heap's hand. His mason shields are just a cheap knockoff of my elegant work on their dad's hammer. Best to follow my lead and avoid. But, <laughs> who am I talking to? You have freed me from my corrupted form. You have my eternal gratitude. The fate of the Valkyries. Sounds pretty important. That's putting it mildly, lad. What do you know of them? A fair question, and yet not one easily answered. I know more than most, but much of their history is veiled in secrecy. My own experience with the Valkyries ends with my imprisonment. You are avoiding the question, Head. As I said, brother, it's complicated. I don't know why or how they become such wretched creatures, but perhaps if we can free more of them... You want us to find more of those things? The fate of the Valkyries, lad. A more worthy endeavor there is not. It will be dangerous. Well, that hasn't stopped you before, eh? Hmm. That's the spirit. A Valkyrie. We have to save her. Think before you act. Are we prepared to face such a powerful foe? I'm ready if you are. I seem here. If that counts for anything. No! How did you? Hey! Did you hear? Magni, the Aesir god, son of Thor, dead! I know! Now Modi's on. Midgard, looking for the killer, swearing that once he finds him, he'll... Oh, shit, that was you guys. We should probably discuss that more quietly. Or not at all. I think that's a great plan. Hey, where did someone put down that loudmouth Magni? Wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Would that be a good thing or a bad thing? Bad thing for you when his daddy finds out. But one less Aesir farting around suits me just fine. In fact... Next upgrade is on the house. Really? No. It's another Valkyrie. We're gonna save her, right? If by save her you mean brutally rip her wings off, then my vote is I. Enough. Both of you. I will decide the best course of action. You have destroyed my physical form. I have nothing to give but my gratitude. I guess that's all we need. Gratitude does not pay for weapon upkeep, boy. Somebody made them this way. Who? And why? I... I wouldn't want to speculate. You know something. 
Ah, Mimia, the smartest man alive. I know many things. Head. Ah, oh. Sigrun, the queen of the Valkyries. She would have that power. The last time I saw her, she was corporeal herself. She came to visit me long after I'd been imprisoned by Odin. Why? Well, we had history, I guess you could say. Like, romantic history? Ah, oh, lad, you're making me blush, I think. Can I still blush? First we hunt these creatures, and now we chase your former lover. We do not need this distraction. It's more than a distraction. Father, these are Valkyries. They're the ones who keep the dead from overrunning Midgard. Then they are terrible at their job. It's not their fault, brother. Someone changed them, kept them from their duty. The Queen? I can't say for sure, lad. We should ask more of them, if of course you don't mind the distraction. The Valkyries must be freed, and we are the only ones capable. We? Well, who do you think's gonna watch your back? You are both very brave. I wish you luck. Valhalla awaits. Both? She didn't even notice me. Hey, where's the little turd? He has fallen ill. No. So where are you off to in such a hurry? The realm of the dead. Helheim? Shit, this is serious. Don't worry, kids are tough. When I was his age, I cut my own head clean off. And I'm none the worse for wear. Psst. Yeah. Shh. I ain't supposed to be here. It's cold. Real quick, give me your blades. Why? Yeah, I said I'd help you and I aim to. Come on. Oh, my equipment's in Midgard. Be right back. Yeah. You don't suppose he'd make those, do you? There. And now they're ready for the winds of hell. Just target this magical glowy bit here with your blades and throw! <laughs> now target that wind trap with your blades. It's that little ball hanging in the middle of the door there. See? <laughs> See that? Yeah, you can absorb and release the winds of hell whenever it damn pleases. So you're welcome and I'm leaving. This place is cold enough to freeze a pair of pigeon eggs. I sometimes wonder if there was once some sort of accident in his brain. Sorry, brother. I'm still stuck in what I heard back there. Zeus was your father? Not now. We should focus on getting out of hell. And with that, I cannot argue. I'll just contemplate that little nugget in silence, then. What is this place? Ah, could it be? The Eight Thrones. Stop being coy, Ed. This is none other than Gerdrifold. The master of arms in Valhalla. Responsible for arming and training Odin's in Heria. His what? His army come Ragnarok. The entire reason Valhalla exists, you see. The Ain Heria wait in the Great Hall endlessly, feasting, drinking, and fat. Ah, uh, fornicating themselves silly. Where her sisters were violent rapids, there was a gentle stream. She healed the wounds of both mortals and gods. And even a certain all-knowing sage who once drank too much and fell off a mountain. Ugh, not my proudest moment. I must reunite with my sisters. Together we can restore balance to the realms. You have the eternal blessings of the Valkyries. Well, we did it, I suppose. You don't sound very happy about it. It's difficult to be happy about anything when you're a reanimated head. I'm grateful we were able to set the Valkyries free. But so much of this could have been avoided, if only... You said it yourself, Ed. It does not matter anymore. The past is the past. Well, that's awfully cheerful coming from you. I am in a good mood. The dwarves will make use of this helm. Your dad's a wee bit single-minded, isn't he, lad? Definitely. 